here I've got a demo box that's got some basic utilities installed, uh, otherwise it's just a very clean, minimal machine. Um, I'm going to make myself a go path. Just to 
show how easy it is for any of this to change is even by touching a single file, in this situation we'll go to that dirt colors, by touching just that single file, you now you can actually see that our checksum is different on the root Etsy directory. But if I wanted to say I did not even have this Etsy.tar available, if I wanted to reassemble this checksum, because maybe you have an identity set up or you've got a gold master tar archive that you've signed, I need to reassemble this checksum from this Etsy that may have had uh, some fuzzy attributes. Uh, by fuzzy I mean M times may be different, or perhaps even an underlying file system uh, that doesn't support maybe the precision of the original TAR archive. Some file systems can do nanosecond precision, some are just uh, to the second level precision. Precision. I need to reproduce this checksum with whatever is sitting uh, in Etsy. In this situation, we'll now use the TAR data JSON and we will reassemble. So here's the flags for this assembly. I'm going to pass the input and we'll provide this tar data JSON that we created a few minutes ago. The path is actually root because everything will be prefixed in this tar from uh, Etsy. We're just giving the relative path to find the directories for the records that are in the tar data JSON that we looked at. And the output, rather than putting it to pipe, will recreate our etsy.tar again that we just removed a moment ago. And so what happened behind the scenes is the tar data JSON records were read through like a ref log. With the relative path of slash, and I'd like to output the contents of that replay of this ref log into a file called etsy.tar. Here you can see the output that created etsy.tar with this information and in it rewrote the bytes. And the moment of truth is well, I get SHA1 checksum, a SHA2 checksum of 9338, so on. There we go. Even though the even though the, uh, the on this Etsy is is different because I touched something, I can use this tar data JSON to, to replay and get the original gold master. The tax, if you want to call it that, of this tar data JSON is. Uh, surprisingly small for the size of Etsy itself, 9 meg, 22k. Um, it compresses down nicely, but you can actually replay that even if the directory has been has has some fuzzy modifications. What happens when you actually have something change? We will echo uh, we'll just add a new line into this Etsy dir colors. And now if we went up here, and we'll try and replay that back to a new Etsy tar. So we're going to replay our ref log from the relative path of slash, which now contains a modified file, so something has actually been mangled on this. And we'll put it out to a new tar archive called Etsy1.tar. What you'll see here is that it actually fails. It fails early. That cyclic redundancy check shows that this Etsy dirt colors failed basic checksum integrity. Not a cryptographic integrity, but basic checksum. So it fails early. Uh, in a situation you could it allows you to fail early that you not you cannot you don't actually have on disk the contents to rebuild that pre precise original. Um, and it is not even feasible to produce that Etsy one dot Thankfully, we still have the um, 
Etsy from a second ago. And now we go to reproduce it. Since we've just overridden that proper dirt colors, you can see that we've just created this new Etsy one guitar. And both the new one with the non-mangled file and the other one are both generating the same checksums.